All right, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Holland here. I'm going to tell you a joke that Chris Wallace told me two years ago. And I'm going to reiterate it this way. That I don't play, okay? I quit school because of recess because I don't play. All right? So if y'all get that, go ahead and get your giggles out of the way because I have spent T minus an hour and a half of my life that I will never get back figuring out how I could possibly show you how to set this up without doing a FERPA violation and you might as well call me Houdini because I figured it out okay <clears throat> and that's straight up I'm so serious about this right now um, I'm crying tears of joy all right so basically what I figured out, and let me get right to the, let me just get right to the point. I'm going to show you immediately, immediately, how to copy assignments, okay? Now don't pay attention to assignment names here because I'm showing you, normally you would think as a sane human being that if you wanted to copy an assignment, you do it in gradebook, right? Okay, well no you won't, okay? Because this is how Infinite Campus does business, okay? I kind of don't, I, I don't like grade totals, so I usually do that. And it just basically gives me the assignments. But um, let's say you have different tiers of the same class. Let's say you have maybe a gifted portion, a regular, and a actual, um, I don't know, uh, what are they called? <clears throat> support class okay so let's say in those three particular sections of the same class mind you maybe you know period one etc um, you would want to have some of the same grades okay whether it's I don't know Edmodo creation uh, essential questions etc I'm going to show you right now how to do that, okay? Normally, you would think, again, that you would do this through the grade book. But basically, how you do it is, if you want to copy assignments from one section to another, and yes, you do have to do it one section at a time. <clears throat> Keep in mind, though, if you have the same class or the same section, you'll notice you can actually populate this here by doing this and of course you want to keep it all in term one and term two just because of snowmageddon one through 23 like we had last year i would seriously keep my terms the same um and uh you can set it up this way okay uh, but let's say again you have a support class you have a regular class and you have a honors portion or ap section for those of you teachers that are AP certified okay so um, basically what you would do in this scenario is and I'm I'm actually able to show immediate data so you can actually see immediately how I would do things in my grade book but basically how you uh, let's say you want to take an assignment and copy it to another section regardless of what that section is even if that section is in the same block or period that you have or the same section you have all day long i.e. you teach math 10 all day long end of discussion this is how you do it okay um, or you have supports and honors in those regular classes okay so you would actually click planner and for the simulation processes I'm going to go ahead and show you my grade book now, okay? Or my actual campus instruction beta. You can actually see that I have quite a few grades in already. <clears throat> um, but uh, what you'll notice is, is um, everything looks pretty much the same. The digital literacy assignments, assessments, etc. But this essential question week two is not in any is not in my second period or third period okay so I want to copy this essential question week two to periods two and three um, one of them is the same the other one's not uh, so I'm going to show you how that works 
and um, this is how it works because again if I go back to the previous week you'll see EQ question if you notice I copied a lot of this stuff you know coat of arms these are all first week assignments that I did uh, just to keep the students busy while we did um, a multitude a myriad of a venerable smorgasbord of course changes um, you know so uh, basically I again want to copy this to the other two classes for the week of the 18th okay so how I do that is first of all I'm gonna click the class that has the assignment this is usually how I do it and I'm gonna um, from this point on you all will start to see the pattern here you're gonna copy assignments from this section you click here and we know that um, I've already chosen this one this is the one this is basically where it's copy from the my intro to digital technology first block and I'm gonna copy to um, let's go and do the intro to digital technology um, second block now people may ask well you know Aaron how do you know this isn't second semester well first of all the assignments are already in gradebook okay so I can immediately tell if it's second semester it's not gonna have a single assignment so let's say we choose this bad boy right here guess what number of assignments zero let me hit this one over here same thing number of assignments zero so I'll go back to here and again just for reference this is for the classes that have the same title and the same course number okay so just keep that in mind um, might be sound a little confusing but basically I'm copying my first period essential question week two to my second period essential question week two okay so um, the number of assignments is eight <clears throat> but I only want essential question week two this bad boy right there okay that's all I want so I'm gonna click next alright and it's gonna populate the information for me based on what I already set up in gradebook when I created the assignment for first period intro to digital technology okay it's gonna copy it to second period intro to digital technology copy and if you notice now both EQ week two is on both of those and again let's say that you don't have the same class but you're teaching the same material ie essential question or employability skills as all of the CTA department uh, entails in every single one of our career fields and career clusters alright so employability skills will be across the board but I'm gonna use essential questions alright so basically what I'm gonna do is um, go back to the same one for all intents and purposes always keep the same one if you're copying across the board because you click here it actually is going to let me do that that's okay awesome good deal I know yesterday when I tried to do this it wouldn't let me click one of these other classes that I populated it to I'd have to go to the original class so bottom line I'm going back to the original class because I know I'm doing EQW2 and I'm copying the assignments from this section to another again first block only this time I'm going to business technology now the good news is I have the same this is a totally different class okay my intro to business and tech and my business and tech are totally different than my intro to digital technology okay so with that in mind I get to click this obviously I don't want to copy all the assignments over I just wanted EQW2 or essential questions week 2 alright click next it copies the initial pertinent data the due date the assigned date etc click copy and you will notice it's going to populate right down here now all three of the blocks that I teach have the same assignments and we're good to go okay so hopefully this helps you um, in some way shape or form where uh, we can 
copy assignments and it doesn't have to be the tenuous process it is right now when you first initially set them up and create them okay so uh, just let me know if I can be of any of assistance and I'll do my best thank you